DMAC realizes that when you're first learning to program, one of the hardest things to do is to write a brand new one. There are so many things to remember that knowing what to key first gets a bit overwhelming. So Unibase can generate an output program for you from data in the record formats and standard job you created for keying. It's never perfect because information not in the record formats isn't available to the generator. But it's a whole lot easier to change existing code than to write code from scratch. Let's see how this works. The output generator will use the standard job you made. It uses the standard job to find the number of record formats and all their names. It also uses it to find the output record length and to help name the program. Then the generator looks at the record formats. Why? Let's look at the checkbox edits for our record format. Our record format, of course, is named Play. And from the record format maintenance menu, let's choose D, edit the checkboxes, and field release past the questions. The last thing we did was to put the output positions for our data in this output placement field near the bottom of the screen. We did this for all the data fields. We have the 31 for the name field and the 51 for the address field, 6 for the city, and all the way through to position 80 for that emitted A. The output generator uses these fields to generate the output program. Let's terminate the record format and go to our file definitions, file output, and instead of creating or changing our output program, we're going to generate one with item J. Unibase asks for the standard job name. That's play. And of course, now it wants a name for the output program. And let's add OUT and call this play out because we already have an output program named play. And if you really want to name it something else, you can rename it after the generator is through. Okay, release to proceed. It's done something. What's it done? Well, if we go to the display item, put in PLAY and an asterisk, we're going to see there's our old play program we've been working on. We've got the back for the source code. There's the source code. There's the runtime. And we have another one called Play Out. This is the source code, and this is the executable. So the generator did something. And we'll look at what it did in the next lesson.